What is? Just how, really, who did this? Like, go in. The outhouse. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Steven did it. He found a weird hole in the ground that went all the way down there, so he just made it an outhouse. We're gonna start an anime debate on something she hasn't seen yet. What has she not seen yet? Uh, debate. I forgot about this. So this is more of a debate topic than an unpopular opinion, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, my bad. Unpopular opinion. Um, I mean, uh, debates are fine. That's kind of what I... I, I think, either way. Uh, isekais, I think I really enjoy isekais. Though I do believe, like, the video game aspect has been, been like, overdone. overdone a little bit. Especially since there's so much genres you can do. I don't I think, think that's only... an unpopular opinion. I think that's a pretty popular de opinion, <laughs> to be honest. God damn it, Dan. I don't... I'm gonna stick with this one. So, me and CC both had um, the opinion, and it was that a lot of anime writers don't write women with personality. Like, some people can get it, like, deep really good. personality and deep, like, character building, right? There's, like, no character development. Like... There we go. And you just look at these characters and you're like, no one likes them because no one can connect with them, basically. So, like... I think is a good example of that. M my examples are in My Hero Academia. Um, okay. So... Like, you have all the deep backstories for, like, everyone, even, like, the side characters. So, like, the big three, like, Mirio, uh, Nejere, and Tamaki. Tamaki and Mirio both have, like, very in-depth backstories, while Nejere was just, like, beauty pageant queen or something. And it's stuff like that where it's like, oh. And even, like, the other girls where it's like, um... Uraka is just broke, and that's the only reason she wants to be a hero, whereas, like, Bob hey, I relate to that. Stuff. I can connect to that deeply. But, like, out of all, I'll like, there's, it's just, about. you know what I mean? It's, like, the other guys have, like, these huge, like, like, plot points where it's, like, oh my god, I want to be a hero because I looked up to this person all throughout my life, and blah, blah, blah. And then it's the girls who are just, like, I'm broke. I think, like, a lot of- I think it's just, like, a lot of characters, and that's the problem. No, because even, like, some of the, the side one. characters that, like, no one really- But, like, what about Tape Guy? What's his backstory? <laughs> Honestly, I, I have- I have not caught up with everything. But even, like, but, his character yeah. is, like, more liked than some of the girl characters that have had, like, a more in-depth backstory. I've seen more fan art of Saro. I, well, hell, I've seen more. I've, and I see more. I've seen more like, fan art like of the top guys. Continue my bad. I didn't interrupt. I, I've seen more fan art of freaking Ojiro, which is the dude with the tail, than I have of okay. half of the women. Uh, a lot of the female characters get a lot, of, a lot more love than the guys. Like Froppy, but no one. The you also have to ask. You it. have to also ask. Is that because people are looting them? Well, every character in anime can get looted. It's it's the rule of uh, rule thirty four. Like yes, but it happens more aspect. when the characters have form fitting uniforms and some of them are walking around with their boobs do. hanging out. The guys don't, but all the girls do. The, well, no, in 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 sense of uh, females, because that's how the the media for that or for any actually are built off of. But in the sense of like revealing skin. I don't think that's one of the main like attractions for guys, is it? I've I mean, you can that. see I it in like... every piece of media. So if you look in video games, yeah, you look in video games too, and like Mortal Kombat, for example, you have like the guys and they're just in normal like clothes, and then you well, have the girls and they're in bikinis clothes, basically. Clothes. They're tight, muscular. Tight, but muscular they're fully costume. clothed, whereas the girls are wearing bikinis. Okay. So when I see those guys looted, especially like DC where like everyone's skin tight, it's not that the fact that even though there is some scenes where like they're like topless and just wearing like shorts, like bathing shoes, um, their their attractiveness does not come from like them being bare skin, but their muscles. 
That's because I actually kind of know the answer to kind of this. Oh, go ahead. I'd love to hear it. So, guys... That's aggressive, my bad. (laughs) It's fine. But, um, so, like, I don't remember where I heard this, but someone was, like, citing resources and stuff. I, I need to look it up after, but... Um, this one girl was talking and she was like, it has been, like, proven that, like, guys, when they look at, like, media, like, what draws their attention is, like, boobs and, like, all this other stuff. So when guys are writing stuff for women, they'll try and do, like, Superman, like, skin-tight stuff. But when women are writing stuff for women, they don't focus on that. They focus on more of, like, a personality aspect and more of, like hands and hand holding and stuff like that i i don't remember exactly not what when i was... see yaoi not yaoi but i've seen with that it's all skin well that's oh i have big hands that's very Bianca different just introduced me to that lore <laughs> <laughs> no but like i'm not talking about yaoi in general. i'm just talking about like when so yeah, like if you see like, the general... like romance animes that are like clearly marketed for animes. women the men don't Not usually really. like get naked in them very often. No. Yeah. I do want to state that the the designs for the My Hero Academia women are better in the manga than they are. Um, are they? Yeah. So oh. in the anime, they made all the characters like pencil thin, like. But in the the manga, they're more realistic proportioned. Like, they have, like... So, like, they have a little bit of body fat, like, normal amounts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. And then when it was animated, it was like, nope, they have to appeal to, like, a different point of view. Yeah, I see we... Uh, I'm looking up a... Okay, first going to your point right now. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen, like, with uh, Hero Academia characters, I've, I've noticed it in, like, the media in uh, Amer- the United States has been uh, booming with that. That, uh, comparing their anime uh, designs to their uh, manga design, uh, they definitely lost a lot of weight. And some of them lost weight when they, re- they really shouldn't have. Like, uh... Momo is her name? Yeah, like her Momo power is all about fat. body fat and like yes, creating and stuff came. from it. Oh god, he entered he entered the house. That's not good. Sorry, right. let me deal with this guy. Yeah, and she sh- really should not be like thin all the time. She should be like um what's his name? Gum fat gum, gum fat? Fat gum. Fat gum. Everyone was saying also, that she like, should take an internship under him too, because it'd make the most sense. Yeah. But she got also, put under a supermodel because, you know, fan service. Fashion. Um, but, like, going back into, like, no. costumes and everything. No! I'm Hello. Sorry. I'm streaming right now, also. Oh, uh, sorry. TJ Sam just looked at me and said, You promised. Is it you stream weren't friendly? Leave me? Is it stream friendly? Yes, yeah. Okay. He was like, you promised you aren't gonna leave me for TJ, and I was like, no. Uh, no <laughs> he was like, you there. can't Aww. promise me that! And I was like, no. Aww. How many times have we told him he's the side hoe? <laughs> Anthony yeah. said, aww. Sam and I have argued this conversation literally anytime I watch an anime, and I get pissed off that the female characters they're either way, their powers are way fucking stupid compared to the male characters. And usually like, has something to way... do with emotions. Yeah, and usually has something yeah, I remember to do with topic. love or sex. With or, or friendship like... and yeah, it, it's connected to their or emotions. Like, or like their only like strong point is that they're sexy. Like what the hell, dude? No, I gotta agree with that one. A lot of it, a lot of that is true. Well, isn't it? Uh, what's his name again? I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna get it. Redhead. Kirishima. Kirishima. I'm just gonna call him Redhead from now on. Um, isn't that his thing that he's like topless, showing his muscles, and his power is he just gets his skin gets harder? We've talked about isn't this. He turns into a rock. It's because he needs his like shirt off because that's how his power works. 
Like the clothes would just rip off like, anyways. But going back to like Momo, but he, it's they not need like to show skin to use their quirk. It's not yeah, but sexualizing not him though because they're not sitting there because... like they haven't made him like overly scene, buff um, and like Bara yeah. style and like never, shit. Okay. How many Isn't times that all do we see? No, listen, Anthony. How many times do we see Great Boy zoom in on Yayoi Rosa's boobs and they're jiggling? She's fourteen. We oh, never see time, anything do us. that to Hiroshima. Exactly. That's the point we're bringing across: is that even though Hiroshima, yes, his, his cork is hardening and he does take his shirt off to harden. It's not like they're directly it's, targeting. The girls him aren't sitting there him. looking at him, going, "Oh my God, you're so hot." I don't, you're not wrong, because a lot of all anime, especially back then, not back then, I'm using back then, Anthony, all anime uses that trope. Yeah, I and we're saying it should die. Yes. We're saying yeah, that trope Anthony, should die. You can't, just, you can't just say, well, all anime sexualizes women, and that's okay. That's just like no, saying I'm not boys saying it's will okay. be boys. We're trying to say, like, it's just not okay. Like, it shouldn't be overtly sexualized like that. That's all. I'm so confused. Not That's like not what I was trying to say. Up, like, boys will be boys type of thing. Like, it's, it's just not cool is what we're saying. So, by you saying, no, like, it's a trope, Hold up. we're saying that it if, shouldn't be. I'm saying be. it's a stereotype that's going to be really hard to break. That's what I'm going at. Not the fact that, like, all oh, boys will be boys or girls will be girls. Because that's not true, especially with anime. I'm saying in that culture, that's going to be hard to break. With, like, in the U.S., that's not a... To that extent, it's not, not that extreme. Like, okay, How... back to the crosses thing, but, like, for the most part, I think Demon Slayer passes almost the whole test. Because Nezuko, she's 12, and she's not sexualized at all. And she's strong. Another mm-hmm. one that I will say is really good with the costumes is Attack on Titan. Oh, I'll be right back. I can go to the bathroom. Okay. Yes, right. Attack on Titan, for Which, sure. Which, all the freaking, like... All the guys were mad because they were like, Mikasa looks like a dude. I'm like, she was raising him in war, broski. Yeah. That, that kind of I does know. that. I know. They were like, Mikasa, where did Mikasa's boobs go in the new animation? I'm like, dude, this is more realistic. You think Mikasa's going to be like wearing some tight shirts and like tight pants? No, she's in war. Yeah, uh, Attack on Titan did really good with, like, the characters, and so that's one of the ones that I'd say is really good. One of the ones that hey, I will God. say is really, um, one of the things you will say. I lost my train of thought. Um, that I liked, but it still had me just sitting there like, uh, cause the, the costumes were just like, eh, and the... Love and friendship power definitely came in the end. Was soul leader. Oh god. Oh yeah. Like it was doing pretty good. Like they weren't super sexualized. Like I mean, the mini skirt. Except was a for the. Much. Except for the cat girl. Cat. Oh well, yeah, that one was Blair. pretty obvious. And then yeah, but... even like the the two twin pistols, they they were. Yeah, even like. She was. <laughs> Dad. They all had like they were all like fourteen or fifteen and had like big boobs and then there was Maka who was like, oh I don't have any boobs pouty face and stuff like that. And then um, the love and friendship definitely came at the end with that one. This girl in the anime we're talking about. Hello. Hello. Sorry, what were we talking about? Where did we leave off? Um, I brought- there? we were we talking off? about good examples, and she said Demon Slayer, and I said Attack on Titan, and then I gave a, another, like- Of what? Strong female protagonists? That aren't, like, super over-sexualized. Uh, Maka? Actually, I just said that was wrong, because <laughs> I, I was just talking about Soul Eater, because all of the girls in Soul Eater have big boobs, except Maka, who's wearing a mini skirt. And then yeah. her power at the end was very love and friendshipy. Was it? All I remember is the dog, I guess so. That I think was decent, about... that wasn't like super sexualized, was Parasite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was not too bad. Death Note was to... okay with it. I mean, Misa was. She was never like naked or like just in. 
like a bikini or something. Like there was one part where she was wearing a two piece where it was like a crop top and a skirt. But she Didn't wasn't she offer, there for um, purely fan service. She was there for a purpose. I too. think she was, just not like skin fan service. Cause this wasn't. She no, like she she was obsessed? kind of like a yandere. Kind. Just not to the so same. So yandere's not count then? Uh, no, yandere's count. But I'm saying she, there was no point where I felt like they were doing it just to do it because like her whole character was that she's a model so like some yeah. of her outfits made sense she's a model, she a model? yes okay I thought she the was only a, part that made me uh, mad about her was star. that she was really smart and it went away the second she was talking to light so like yeah. her personality was like had gold star potential and then was completely ripped away wait i thought okay Okay. No, you just said what I was thinking. Never mind. I was about to say that I thought she didn't have a personality besides that she was in love with, uh... No, because you find out she's, like, really fucking smart. Like, she outsmarted all the cops with, like, how to get to Kira. And then instantly, the second she met Light, she was a complete babbling idiot. And then did nothing, like, the rest of the anime. Besides, was just there to, like... You know? Let me, let me at least, Besides like, to just be there and be like, Light, notice me. You better not go Or, like, to further girl. his plot. Yeah. So, like, anything she did after that, she was not doing, like, to further her character. She was doing for Light's sake. Like, oh, I'm gonna give up my Shinigami eyes and then redo the deal and screw up the rest of my life. But, because you asked. Her, like, extended, like, infinity life. Yeah, like, she Wouldn't had... Have, like, and then she, she halved her life, life a second. Not an infinite, she just had an extended life. Because she took the life of Jealous um, after he died because he loved her and saved her. Yeah, yeah, I remember that part. And then. I, I just was confused if she. So she had, halved like, her life, life the first that. time to be able to find light, which was fine because yeah. if her life was like 300 years, then she'd still have 150 years left. You know? Like, it's not that big of a deal. But then she did it a second time. Hey, it's TJ. Yes. Is it Lamambia? Oh, uh, no, I know what you're talking about, but no. That's not what it's called. How do I say it? Um, we'll talk after stream about that stuff. Why? Because that's what I'm gonna do to Anthony Sauce. No! <laughs> you gave me inspiration. Uh, Anthony, warning, she I wants to Lamanberg your house. <laughs> Uh, God damn it! I lagged to death. Yeah, I saw that. Ah, Did you not you hear my warning, Anthony? Anthony. No, yeah, I, I landed in the water, but it uh, it like threw me up in the air again. Anthony, Ooh. she wants to Lamanberg your house. I TNT proof. Ah, uh, I like to see you try. I will end the whole world if you do that. This is why we have the arena. I am the traitor. Oh my god, I didn't even finish telling you the lore and you're already using it against me. I have also started upgrading my armor. So I have upgraded everything except my boots. So now my helmet I think is pretty much maxed. My chest plate and pants are maxed. And then my boots. So let me just show you. <laughs> So these are my boots. I have the book. However, something messed up. So now I have to redo the, all that. Uh, excuse me, sir. You are not allowed up here. Okay. So this is the arena so far. My friend is trying to add redstone to it for some reason, but I don't know, I'm gonna let him do whatever. But yeah. So this is the inside, and then you come in one of these, 
and you can get up to the stands. There's like the seating area where you can just watch everything happen. And then you can come over here and you have their little refs area so you can just sit there and watch whoever is fighting at the time. Yeah, this took like a week and a half in game. And I'm always messing with my friends because on my friend's world, we uh, we made like three pyramids and that took like three months. And I'm like, this with actual obsidian took me a week and a half, whereas those pyramids took three months. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, that was supposed to be an easy project. And my friend is like, yeah, I kind of, I kind of messed up with that. Oh, and also some of my villagers died so now we're missing like a couple named villagers like Howard and Tyler died I don't know how they died they just weren't in there and then a whole bunch of iron golems started spawning in there and now some of them are pissed at me or they were I guess they're not anymore weird yeah I don't know why they were pissed at me though because I didn't do anything <laughs> that did happen last night because last night is when I was leveling everything up um so when I normally play like hardcore on Java and I'm just like trying to speedrun, I get that Soul Speed 3 book like every time. Oh, please don't. Last night it took so long. I think it's because I was actually trying for it this time. So this one has efficiency 5. That one is glitching through the wall. He has lore 3. Protection 3 and Thorns 1. He has Looting 3, Thorns 3, Sharpness 5. These took forever to get. <laughs> Depth Strider 3, Piercing 1, and Flame 1. Uh, Respiration 2. Channeling 1. And Infinity 1. Ta-da! We actually have a semi-safe room that we spawn in. And I've made nether roads that go everywhere, so this one goes to the Bastion. Stop that. Okay. So this one goes to the Bastion, this one goes to the first fortress, and this one goes to a second fortress. And the pet house. Pet house probably is the easiest, right? Mm. Not the, what are you'd you think, know? you'd think. I don't know which one I want to put here. I kind of, no lie, I kind of want to be petty. and put. Why don't you make a, what's it called? Why do you make a dining bar? You already have a house here. Well, right here, I was putting either the pet house or the museum. And I kind of wanted to be petty and put the, the museum here because my mom lives right on the other side of this mountain and the museum is just going to be filled oh, with like gay flags. Rip. It's so my world, I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, pride museum, other stuff like mob heads I and any other cool stuff. You. Yeah. Are you still pissed at me? No, you're just... Oh, yeah, no, you're I'm pissed. I'm... No, the iron gold. did I get mad at you? No, the iron gold. Oh! Of course they're gonna get mad at you. You have the title like the Golem Killer. Why wouldn't they get mad at you? Oh well. I mean, it's their fault. They tried a bitch. I forgot to grab. I slaughtered the millions. Too. They got upset. It's their fault. The reason they got upset last it's time is because I accidentally threw an egg and hit one, and then ten Your of them went scary, murder. Friend. Yeah, okay. she was like, if anyone's brave enough to wake me, please do. And I know everyone's gonna just point their finger and be like, that's TJ's job! <laughs> You'll murder anyone else. I don't know. I do I just need to yell that. Oh yeah, she will murder you. She is... I hate you see this, you wake up caught, Anthony, I'm gonna murder you. No, it'd be more like, fuck off, click, and you just be like, oh. Well, alright then. Yeah, it is gonna be like, hey CC, I know you asked us to wake you up, so here's your wake up. Anthony, be quiet. 
Why'd you stop talking to me? Goodbye. He just gets cursed out. I don't like, even think I'd get oh. a goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wouldn't. <laughs> You'd just get cursed out and then it would just cut off while she's yelling. Mm hmm. That is how that would go. Animal. Always. How big is this thing? She's not a morning person. I know. I am the only one who can survive her. I remember I called her the other day. Um, you called her first, but her phone is automatically set to like. Do not disturb at like a certain hour at the night, which is really smart. Um, but my call goes mm -hmm. through on emergency, like bypass or whatever. Because he loves me. Your, your, your call will take priority. Oh, yeah, that too. And two, I will not three. explain the reason for that, <laughs> but I'll just say it's because she loves me. Two, three, but there's more five. reason to that than that, but yeah. And so it woke her up. Um, her boyfriend answered, put her on the phone, and instead of like yelling or anything, she just was sitting there making like really cute sleepy noises. And it was adorable. The main entrance is gonna be over here, but those can stay because the entrance is gonna pop out. So wait, uh, Steven can plant flowers, but I can't now. Is that what I'm hearing? Because you were putting it, he's putting them over towards the side. The building's gonna be like right here. I, I was also gonna say, like, how would you feel about this? Like, like rows of a rose. Yeah, I'll probably move them over a smidge because the building might pop out a smidge more, but. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I mean, also, like, maybe a block towards, like. Because this would look really good in front of the museum. <sighs> Come with me. Come. What's up? Ooh, it looks good so far. So. Come on. Is this a duel? Wait a minute. It's oh, not God, a duel. Kind of it's not a duel. Let me. Yeah. Sorry, is it because I'm holding have the bow? Have you challenged me to an honorable battle? No, I have a question. What's up? So, this is going to curve around like this, right? Okay. And it will probably go this way. So, I'm asking since this is technically your land. You want to cross. You want to cross the. Excuse me, sir. You want me to allow you to- You're, you're suffocating, you're suffocating. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you want me <laughs> to allow you the pettiness. to build on my land for what cost? The gay. The gay. The gay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, listen. <laughs> You're getting showered in flowers and ladders. <laughs> it could be kind of like a neutral meeting point between the two kingdoms. Because love wins, man. Love wins. He threw his seat. Why do you got a thing in your mouth? You, that hay? You, you having fun there, buddy? <laughs> you, you summoned a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> How much of you threw a whole bunch of flowers at me? Dear lord. Did you mine all the flowers you planted? Oh god. <laughs> I will actually take those. Thank you. You give this fucking back. <laughs> I think we need to go to the arena. Actually, no, I'll just genocide some chickens. Okay, make sure to feed okay. them back, but yeah. So, I I, pro I propose it could be I a neutral a meeting payment. point. I need a payment. So far, you haven't actually reached my land. You haven't crossed the river yet. No, right there. Alright, show me what you want to do. Just inside this mountain. You want to be inside this mountain. And then okay. turns this way, so it doesn't go towards your castle. Uh, I mean, mm, technically, I honestly, I think I've only claimed, like, some of this land. I was mainly concerned with that, but you're not wrong. This is still part of my land. Yeah. We need this in, we need this in writing, by the way. I would like this in writing. I don't know. Give me some, uh, give me some of the stuff that you make your armor with. I will give you one netherite ingot. Oh, I actually hit him! <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you, is that is that enough payment? One netherite ingot, you can turn something netherite. Oh my god, I hit him! Is that okay, Anthony? Yeah, I'll accept one netherite thing. Alright. So, I, I am calling it now. There will be no violence in this museum. If there is any violence, you will be killed by everyone on the server. Uh, how's that? <laughs> No, I can't promise that. <laughs> the dumbest. This is a I'll safe haven. A... The... I will keep it as neutral as possible, but I can't promise that it won't ever, never have violence in it. You I'm surprised you're even promising that with CC in this server. I am promising that because I know CC, if I tell her the reason, she will agree. You're chill with me, right? Yeah. I'm pretty chill. Yeah, I think so. No, this iron golem. What about you? Yeah, I, I'm no, pretty you, chill with you. No, you want to well. punch me. This one wants to punch me. How dare you hit me with an egg? You did this to me. Oh no, oh, he's going after the skeleton. skeleton. Oh, you're chill you with me. You got so many. Hello. Don't don't take this the wrong way, but I'm really glad you guys never dated you and that uh that girl. Well, yeah, we got. She was like, very, we had a discussion, she was like, very oh, bitchy and weird. You know what? In the end, when I I went over to their house at one point, my parents were really cool. Um, brother was very very cool too, but I realized they were kind of spoiled. No, so we went over to their house for a school project, and like she ended up like their house house for like a video project you meet the um so we we met we, her mom right. and she was nice and then we met her brother and stuff but that so very cool. her mom picked us up so we were kind of like stuck at her house right until our parents yep picked us up and then what ended up happening was her and her brother got an argument and she like threw something really heavy and hard at him and then like yelled at the top of her lungs and was like yelling at her brother and her mom and me and um one other girl were just sitting there mortified because like we were like oh my god this bitch crazy and we were just stuck in her mm -hmm. house until we could get picked up yeah it was not fun and then um the same project i had to invite her over to my house to finish it and she ended up like then, looking through medicine cabinets and stuff and like uh, was just going good. through shit and I was like um Don't do that. can I help you? And like hey, what's up? she would she would just like help herself to random things like snacks and stuff. Like I, I offered them snacks but like it she would just like You don't take unless offered. Yeah, That's like she would she would just walk into cabinets and grab stuff. And even my mom was very fucking confused, and she was just like, did, did you say you could, they could do that? And I was like, I mean, I was going to, but no, not yet. I don't know if I want to now. Well, like, the other people I had there were like, uh, I'm not saying names, but like, a person who was one of my best people friends at the time, and then like, Natha, and... So like, they- mom knew them, and like, they already called mom mom and stuff. And so, like, they were already very comfortable, but this was, like, her first time at my house, and she was just going through medicine cabinets and, like, other cabinets and shit, and I was like, um, that's a little sus, to say the least. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, and then the second time, because we had to invite her over a second story, time. taking a step back. And... Yeah, we had to invite her Wait, over a second time. Wait, you invited her a second time? Was the, no, this was the oh, same time. This was, no, this was the same time. Yes. She yelled at my sister, okay. and Why? my sister is six years older than me, so my sister was not fucking having it. So my sister uh, just had got Stella at that point. So Stella was still little, little yappy dog, you know, I'm annoying as fuck. So we had to record, and so I asked my sister, I was like, hey, in a little bit, can you throw Stella in the backyard or take her up to your room, you know? And she was like, yeah, sure, just let me know when you need that. And then... Um, at one point we were like, hey, we need help filming this one scene because we're all in it. Could you hold the camera? And... To your sister? Yeah. To, and uh, so, yeah. 
No, to my sister. And so, mm -hmm. um, we had her try and show my sister how to hold it. And before my sister could even hold it, um, she would start, like, yelling at her. And she's like, this is not how it goes. And blah, blah, blah. and my sister just was like, you know what? Fuck you. And then she left. Like, she straight up, my sister gives no fuck. She was just like, fuck you. And then walked out. Because we were asking my sister a favor. And then she started bitching at my sister. And I won't even bitch yeah, at my sister. Like, I, I fear my sister. I don't know what she was thinking. She had some sort of death wish there. Not allowed. I noticed. We had to do the project again the next year. And, um... <laughs> and, um, someone was... They were like, she asked to be in our group, and we had already, like, made sure the group was filled up. And we are like, oh, no, sorry, we, we already... And it was just so... The other group that um, got her in... Um, cause they were like, oh, yeah, I heard them, I overheard them talking cause they were like, oh, we got her in our group, like, this is gonna be cool, and like, okay, and yeah, then I, 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 I sat cool. her down, and I was like, I, I sat the other person down, like, I didn't get along with this girl at all, but I, I sat her down, and I was like, look, you need to be careful, she's like, she, she was like fucking snooping and shit. And I gave her a heads up, and she didn't believe me. And then the next day after, she came to school, and she was like, "You were totally right. She was snooping in medicine cabinets, and we had to like kick her out of my house." And she was like hiding oh, her rip. shit there, like her, like notebooks and shit in her house. And I was like, "I, I, I told you. Like, I didn't get along with this person in the slightest." And they even came to me after and was like, "You were right." <laughs> I never oh, slept true. except right after school, because school made me so mentally and physically exhausted that it was the only time I could sleep. So I'd get yeah, home from get school, that. I'd pass out, and I'd wake up around like 10, right? Mm -hmm. She'd go to bed at 10, wake up at 6. By 6, I'm like doing stuff, or like back to sleep, by a miracle, you know? Mm -hmm. And, or like... I think seven, six or seven is when I'd finally get back to sleep because I'd get like one or two hours of sleep at night because I used to get really pissed off when the mm. teachers would be like, just come in to uh, office hours an hour before before school starts. I remember that. You and I was like, I only, out. yeah, because I only get like one or two hours of sleep and they're like, well, just come in at, like during the one hour you do sleep. And I'm like, no, go fuck yourself. Um, but, but yeah. I still think, sorry, but you should, you should have changed your sleep schedule. I couldn't. That was the thing, is, um, my insomnia was, like, that was when it, like, first started getting, like, really bad. And I did not I know how to yeah, fix yeah. anything. To be fair, it was definitely the school system that did that to you. Those, oh, no, like, definitely. POLs. I'm lost in the nether. Hey, TJ! Yeah, I've been saying my name this whole time. you wake me up? I did wake you up. Oh. You texted me that you were going back to sleep and you set an alarm. Oh, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, I definitely did not set no hey, alarm, eat. I just went right... <laughs> <laughs> I figured. Anyway, sorry, Anthony, continue. I just couldn't remember if TJ had woken me up or not. You hung up on me. Of course, TJ is great at that. Because one of our mutual friends uh, was like, hey, did they wake you up? And I honestly could not remember if they woke me up. I did. I don't ever remember when I'm sleeping. You can check our text messages. You I don't care about TJ to remember them. I'm sorry, what, Anthony? She cares enough not to yell TV at me when I wake her up. Listen, Anthony, it's nothing personal. Listen. One time my house literally got broken into and the alarms are going off and I slept through it. No, we hated my him. <laughs> math teacher, we hated each other's guts. And I remember one time, TJ, you were really upset about something. And I think I had ended up either I was already ditching class or I was just not in class for some reason. Oh, I had ditched class. I remember that. Yeah. And then uh, did we end up in the architecture class together or no? Like talking architecture, te architecture teacher's ear off? Yes. I couldn't remember. But all I remember was I was mad that they had fucked you like that, and I went and I yelled at him for doing you like that. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't remember what it was about, but all I remember was Well, I was like, already pissed off due to, like, a different class and something else that happened. And yeah. then, um, he just made it worse and was just sitting there and was, like, just talking and talking. And every time, like... Because, like, there was days where I was, like, pretty much nonverbal because I was just so pissed or I was, like, so drained, right? Yeah. So I just didn't want to speak. And he made it a point that even when I was, like, in one of those moods to bug and bug and be like, you have to answer, you have to talk, you have to do... Which, for a school that prides itself on, like, its diversity and its progressiveness, it definitely wasn't very diverse or progressive. No, not in any way, but continue. So, it was one of those days, um, and I was just very, like, upset, and so it was right after his class, and he had just been doing that all class, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. If I go to my next class, I am going to end up, like, murdering someone, so I'm just gonna- not literally murdering stream, um, but, like, I'm just gonna have a bad time. So I ended up saying- I called my mom and I was like, I'm ditching the rest of my- like, you need to come pick me up, or I'm ditching the rest of my classes anyways, and I'll just stay in the bathroom all day. Like, either way, mom. I'm not doing hey. school today. And she was like, well, I don't know, like, I don't want to pick you up, this sounds like- And then, like, you called her and you're like, no, come pick them up, they are going to kill someone. And she was like, oh, yeah. fine. And then she was like, she was like, so are, she picked me up and she was like, so are we going to talk about it? And I went, no, and I went to bed. <laughs> I said, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, I don't remember what it was about, but all I remember was I was, I walked- I think you're mixing two times together, because the other time was when um, I had lost my hearing for a while, and I um, couldn't hear him. that's when I yelled at him, right? Yeah. Because I had told Did you, you at lunch that he just kept, like, talking to me, and he would put, like, his back towards me when literally I was looking at his lips to try and figure out what he was saying. Wow. And uh, how when I lost my hearing, how uh, asshole would just, like, when he was teaching would just, like, completely fuck me I told over. I that's what we call him, that. Oh yeah, we call him asshole. Um, oh yeah, that's But yeah, he would put his back to me, he would sit me in the back away from the board, so I'd have to, like, physically turn around, like I was in the very backmost chair, and he'd teach facing the board. And anytime I would, like, he would ask me questions, and I literally could not fucking hear him, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what I yelled at him for. Yeah, my mom also yelled at him for that. I remember that. Um, he was trying to hide behind another teacher during, like, things, <laughs> and the teacher, like, grabbed I him by that. the shoulder and pointed and was like, go. <laughs> because that teacher was not- they were all sick of his shit as much as we were. But, um, I have a- I have a story, but it's not about high school, but it happened while we were in high school, and it was with me and Cece. Okay. Do you remember our little nightly adventures? Sometimes, I don't know yeah. Too. So, um, Cece used to spend like pretty much every night at my house, like on weekends. <laughs> yeah. And every I day after school, she'd be over at my house. She just lived at my house. I lived. I hated being in my house so much. That, like every day after school, I'd go to TJ's house to the point that my mom would be mm -hmm. like. Dude, you need to come and stay at our house sometime. Cece would have to beg me, like, randomly and be like, please, just one night we need to trick her into thinking that um, we actually give a shit about her. Yeah, because my mom would lose her shit. She'd she was be like, so why do you always want to go to TJ's house? Why it's can't like, you ever I don't know. Because you weirdly listen at the door and come into the room at weird hours just and be like, hey, I hated up? that. Yeah, we could literally hear her standing outside your door with her no. ear like fully pressed to the that. to the door, and we were just like, we do have a good game that we can play. Uh, What are you doing? <laughs> we'd have yeah. to we'd have to act normal randomly, and we we're just like, oh yeah. It, I think we should go to bed. Yeah, that that's a good option. And then we were like, okay, good night. And then we'd wait for the footsteps to leave. Or we would we would do stuff like, 
oh, did you hear about this one Bible Take verse? Action. And it was like the most forced conversations <laughs> ever. Yeah. I used to lie and say I was going to church. Every Sunday. Yep. And my mom would lie for you, too. Yep. No, but our, our nightly I adventures. Um, so, yeah, CC used to spend every um, weekend at our house. And so sometimes when, when you're just stuck in the house, you get bored. Walk down to 7-Eleven, we'd go walk to the park, we'd just walk pretty much anywhere. And, um, yeah. We, we would always have a, um, a little lie set up. So CC knows sign language. And I would always say, all right, you start speaking sign language and I will just explain that I am just walking my girlfriend home because she felt unsafe or something. What? I, we, we always had something different set up. For one time, we went into the, um, we went into 7-Eleven, and there was like three cops just chilling in there. And Cece was a little out of it, um, <coughs> for undisclosed reasons. And so she did not notice until I was like physically dragging me. And the whole time I was like, TJ, what the hell? TJ, what are you doing? TJ, what's wrong? And I'm sitting there like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I was just dying because she was being really loud and we were trying not to like draw attention because you know, you, you don't want to get arrested and taken home. the most home. attention. Bye. Bye! <laughs> Alright, let me, let me deafen really quick. Alright, so we got a lot done. So that's cool. Um. <laughs> he's waving. Um. But yeah, we got a lot done. Hopefully next time we can get some more done. And, um. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm just gonna go down here. Yeah, we're gonna get some more stuff done, and yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you catch the VOD later, thank you. Uh, I stream every Tuesdays and Saturdays. So, bye! He just died. Alright, bye! Are you ready? Got him. And while we're waiting bow. for him, to count it down. Three, I bow. Two. One. Right. Fight! What was that? How do you guys get this poison arrow? Something that not e doesn't even do a ton of damage. What happened to my bow? Did I drop it? Hold on, let me check my inventory real quick. Yeah, hold on, let me give it to you. Draw, draw, oh, draw. Oh, thank you. Okay, there you go. Why couldn't we do this? My bad. Hold on, creeper, like creeper. Alright. Okay, bow, go. <laughs> I just like speed drop from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do I need to count down again? No. How much damage is the poison doing? Not a lot. I'm talking to Jay. How much poison is it doing on If Anthony wins this fight... We teach... I don't think I am. At least you mean... TJ, how many hearts are you on? TJ 
I have the good bow. Yes, I do. Oh. Yeah, I lost. It would have been so funny if you just died to the yeah. end of the room. Yeah, I lost. No, I, I died. Zoom did burn to death! Um... One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. That's pretty good. I need to upgrade my stuff a little more. <laughs> I wish my. Uh, the poison arrows I think were the worst because every time I hit my shield, I just get poisoned to death. Yeah. So even with the shield, it's still. Yeah, I needed a better way to block that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, but that was good to know. So, sh shield. Yeah, I also brought a golden really apple good. in, so that helped. Oh, you butt! That's not a potion! You're right. Yeah, it's potion effects. That's not a potion, though. That's right, I was gonna bring a freaking health potion. Uh, what happens if we try two on one? You'd probably both die, right, Anthony? With TJ? I'd, no, say, I'd say we should probably not use poison arrows in the duels because they're OP'd, because even the shield can't block. Okay, I won't use poison arrows no more. Neither will I, because I was going to. Do you want to do it again? Uh, a little. Uh, nah. Do you want to do a 2v1? I do. Nah, TJ don't want to do it, but I don't want to do not it. Not right now. I need to go get something to eat. Okay, I got to go eat right now anyways. Oh, so let's call it for right now.